Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, we're going to talk about something that I saw um, earlier this week as I was looking through my my creative feed. I was um, sifting through some stuff, and I, I saw some really great designs and stuff. And then I I ran across these uh, badges that somebody had made for freelancers. Um, I thought that it was a really cute design, and there's some really great stuff in there. But then I saw some stuff that was a little concerning. Um, I saw some badges in there that said things like got done before 1 a.m. and went outside and and got paid and things like that. And actually, the ones that really stuck out to me was things like went outside. Um, when did it become OK to to work the crazy hours that we work and and feel like it's a badge of honor to go outside or to get home before 1 a.m. or or see our family? When did it become OK to to stay in the office all the time and sleep in the office and do those things. Um, I, over the years that I've been in this field, um, I've slept in the office. I've had those times where I've had to, to stay on a cot or sleep in the chairs on monitoring renders or, or doing those things. And I, I still have those things that happen, you know, today. Um, I try to mitigate that. I try to make sure that I'm not in the office all the time and that I'm able to get out of the office to, to see my family or to do hobbies outside of the office. Um, but as an industry as a whole, we still have a huge problem with staying in the office all the time and feeling like we have to or that that the people who are employing us, whether we're freelancers or at the office, that we have to stay there all the time to make sure that 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 they see us and that that we're pushing the envelope and we're, we're pushing our boundaries because we wanted to stay there and work all night long and early into the morning and then get there early the next day to do the same thing. That's not OK. Not getting out like if you are not able to get out of the office and, and see the world and experience things around this 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 universe, you know, going around and seeing things on this earth and hanging out with people and doing that stuff, you're missing out on the biggest part of your life. Your your job and your freelance opportunities and stuff like that will always be there. They will come, they will go, you will find other opportunities, you will find other jobs, you will find other people to work with. But if you are having to sacrifice every single hour of every single day to sit in that office because you feel like you have to or that you're pressured into those situations where you're not able to leave the office, then you need to find somewhere else to go because that's that's just going to drag you down. You're going to burn out after like a few months or something like that. And then you're just going to feel like you have no other option but to stay there. And then and then you're going to burn out. You're not going to be creative at all. You're, you're just going to start doing the things that you always do, just constantly struggling. And that's when the, the negative attitude starts sinking in. And then that negative attitude is just going to boil over. You're going to be angry. You're going to be jaded about the entire industry and the field because you never got to leave. And so what I would say is just make sure that you are managing your time and managing expectations and doing those things. I've talked about those in some other uh, other videos, but I would make sure that that you know what you're getting into when you go to freelance with someone or, or doing some job at somewhere else. And I would just make sure that that they're not wanting you to stay there all the time. You, you should not have to stay in the office and work 20 hours a day and and sacrifice your life to do some ad for some company and and. I just don't think that that's that's a good thing for you, your personal health, your rest, your family, the people that are around you that care for you. You need to, to make sure that you're you're getting out of the office, off of the computer and, and enjoying the life that you've been given. Um, I. I just don't know how us as an industry can go forward if if businesses and companies just constantly look for people that are just going to sacrifice their life for them. Um, I don't know of any other industry that that's like that. Um, mind you, I don't have a whole lot of experience in other industries, but I have other jobs and things that I've had and I've never had an employer expect me to work 18 hours a day and, and sacrifice all of that stuff for a client. Um, so I don't know, like when when we're looking for businesses or people to work for or things to do, um, I would just really take into account the amount of time and the amount of things that these people are requiring of you um, and just 
just know that you're there to do a job. They're, they're requiring you to do a job. But if it's starting to sacrifice your your life and your well-being because you have these crazy deadlines or these things that they're requiring of you, maybe try to find somewhere else. Um, there, Like I said, there will always be another company. There will always be another job. I know that that's the biggest fear is that if I say no, that that that's always going to dry up and not, not going to have another job or another opportunity. And I would just say that there will be. There are tons of companies, there's tons of opportunities, and there's things out there that you can do. And that if this company is going to mistreat you, that you can find somewhere else to go. Um, and that, that you need to enjoy this life. We have one shot at this life. Um, no matter what you believe, you know, we, I, I just feel like I have one shot at being here on this earth. And so if, if I've got to sacrifice some jobs or say no to some things, um, even if that dries up, but I've been able to go home and I've been able to spend time with my family. Um, I've been able to go watch my son have a soccer game or go to his practices or something like that. Then that's worth more to me than getting this job done for this high profile client. Um, I hope that's a help. Um, I uh, just be encouraged. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of opportunities out there. You just have to find it. And so uh, get outside, have fun, enjoy this business. This business should be fun. It should not have you sitting in the office that often all the time to where you have to get a badge of honor because you actually finally went outside or you finished before 1 a.m. That should not be a badge of honor. That should be an all the time. And then every now and then you have to stay in the office a little longer. You're not able to go outside because you have just this deadline that's looming. Anyway, um, I'd love to hear your comments on this stuff. Uh, let me know what you think, um, how you feel about this industry, and what you think maybe will help us go forward. Anyway, uh, thanks for your time.